successful against Dallas his first two games. You said he's fired. You know, I I wouldn't. He shot it really really well at home um, last time we played him. I, I don't feel like you know, the uh, we've won the games, but I don't feel like there's been anything. Um, you know, we've done to, to control the games as much as we just happen to come out on top. Um, so it's it's hard to play a team three times. Between Dallas and Memphis, we'll, we'll play the half our games basically against two teams to start the season. So I think every time you play a team, in, you know, such close order, it becomes more and more difficult. It just feels like a playoff series. Coach, um, what have you guys done to uh, address the transition defense issues that you guys had against Memphis? On Monday, our transition defense, defense. being poor. Yes, uh, that against Memphis uh, on Monday. Well, transition defense is something that, that you know we try to make important every game. So it's just more than anything, it's just a continued, a continued emphasis. Um, obviously, when you when teams are able to get easy things in transition, it doesn't allow you to to set your defense, and it's really. You know, it's a bad sign for your defense generally if they're getting stuff early in the possessions and early in the clock. You signed up close last year with yourself with Donovan thriving in his rookie season. This year, a lot of pressure on Luka and Dallas. What, just what goes into a rookie being able to get past all that and be successful on the court? Well, you know, I think Rick's had um, you know, some, some good rookies over the years. And, you know, Luka's in. A great situation with a coach that, that knows how to manage all those things. And, you know, outside of that, you know, it's hard for me to speak specifically to, to that situation. I think anytime you know you're doing something at a high level and it's new to you, um, resiliency is probably the most important thing. Coach, it's easy to look at the production from you know Joe Ingles and Donovan Mitchell and whatnot, but when you look at Derek Favors, the little things that he's done, mm -hmm. offensive glass and, and the production there, how big is that for you guys? Well, it's big. I mean, he's having, you know, he's finishing. Um, he's made a couple threes lately. Look good. Um, we, we want him to, to take open shots. Um, and you know, outside of that, there's 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 a versatility that that he has to defend multiple positions. I think the offensive glass is something that um, you know, it's been emphasized. I mean, he's always been a good offensive rebounder, but. You know, he's got timely ones too. I think there's a sense that he knows that's a way that he can impact the game. What we asked Derek to do, um, you know, is not always easy because you know his his role in some respects can fluctuate depending upon any given time that the team needs, and his ability to embrace that um, has been something that's really important. I, I think it's um, it sets an example for for our group too. You know, whether he's um, you know, playing the quote unquote five or the four, coming off the bench, finishing games, not finishing games. There's just a lot of uh, a lot of things that require you to really stay mentally focused and uh, show really show his character. Coach, um, the Mavericks have held their last two opponents under 100 points. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys need to do to change that narrative? Go ahead. Make, make some shots. <laughs> the, uh, the really, you know, hopefully you can generate open shots and. And uh, then you got to have a, a night where you make some. So hopefully we'll be able to, to generate some good looks tonight by moving the ball. Yeah. What have you seen the Luka and just the way he plays? A really, really good player. Yeah, I mean, a basketball player. He's yeah. got great feel for the game and, you know, skilled, you know, ability to pass, shoot, make plays. I think anytime you have a guy like that that's that, that good, the, the real thing is, it's nice when you, you can tell people like playing with them. That's maybe the biggest compliment you can give players like to play with.